Alright, uh, let's say users finish installing the ADB and fastboot files. Uh, you install your phone drivers, you did everything, whatever tutorial you follow. And um, ESI2, you know, you plug in your phone and you know, turn on, you know, you get developer options enabled, you turn on USB debugging. And, you know, you try your first ADB command, basic ADB devices, right? And you get unauthorized, so you do ADB pull, uh, requires an argument, okay. Um, ADB, let's do a more realistic command, reboot. It says unauthorized, okay. So, um, there's a few s different ways that you can come at this situation. Um, what you can do is the first one. You can go under USB debugging, revoke USB aut authorizations, disable USB debugging, disable developer options. Uh, now have your device unplug. Turn on developer options. Turn on USB debugging. Okay, and then you plug in. And then you should get a pop that says allow USB debugging. You hit OK. And there you go. Um, let's say after that, you know, you, you didn't get the pop up, so it's going to come up with the same thing. So now what you're going to do is you're going to revoke US. I would say first unplug it. Revoke USB uh, authorizations on your phone. Disable USB debugging. Disable developer options. And then you're going to want ADB kill. Server. Okay, and then you go to an ADB start slash no dash server, and give it a second. Okay, and then once it finish, enable US enable developer options on your phone. Enable USB debugging. Hit OK. Um, as it is a problem that says allow USB debugging. You hit OK. And then after all that is done, you plug in. Okay, you should get a pop-up that says allow USB debugging. You hit OK and you fix your issue. Let's say you still didn't receive the pop-up. Okay, this is going to be a last scenario kind of situation. This is what I want to do and this is what's going to probably work best. It's, it's annoying but you're going to have to keep on doing this. Unplug your phone. Revoke USB debugging. Uh, sorry, um, revoke the authorizations. Disable USB debugging, uh, disable developer options, and this is with the phone unplugged. Okay, you're gonna want the same thing ADB kill that uh, dash server. Okay, before we start the server again, I want you to open your Windows Explorer, or open a folder which you can get access to, you know, your files here, and you're gonna go to this PC. Okay, you're going to hit on your d hard drive. You're going to go all the way down and you're going to go to program files uh, parentheses x86. You're going to go to um, minimum ADB and fast boot. Actually, no, I'm sorry. One photo. Um, you're going to go, I'm going to have to do this again. This, P this PC, click, double click on the hard drive, go all the way down and go to users. Now go on the user that you log into. I'm logging to this, so I'm gonna click on this. This is gonna be a dot Android folder. You're gonna double click on that. You're gonna see a ADB key and the ADB key dot pub. You're gonna um, highlight both. You're gonna get rid of those files. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and start the ADB server. So ADB start server. Okay, give it a second to start. Okay, it started. Okay, so now on your phone, double check, you know, enable uh, developer options, enable USB debugging. Okay, and then you go to plug in your device. Okay, and actually, you should be getting options that allow USB debugging, which I do have the option. I've been getting every step that I've been doing, every um, you know, the three methods. But at the end, I've been getting the 
the pop-up to allow it but I hit cancel to simulate you know the result of unauthorized uh, but it was working for me uh, each each method was working for me the pop-up kept, kept coming I had cancel for the purpose of if it, if it didn't work for you so now it worked for me it's been working for me but I decided to allow it now so I hit AD, uh, ADB devices and you know that's my that's my label and, it's, and that's device and it's now online it's no longer unauthorized it's on device and pretty much um, the dot method uh, it utilizes the second method and the extra step of deleting those two files and those two files why we deleted let's go back to the photo it came back so um, those two files that we deleted had some old key information so we just deleted so that the program then ask, ask the device to allow it because sometimes um, it's not always but sometimes if they if the folder already have these two files in it and you're not it's not allowing for any communication um, the best thing to do is delete the two files and then um, when you plug in your device again and you hit allow it would create those um, well when you plug in you probably create the files anyway but um you know that's somehow the two files sometimes cause an issue I can't really explain why but it's just from my my experience so pretty much um, the door method is a guarantee method to do it um, if if it still does not work then I would just recommend try a different cable uh, make sure the cable you're using is to transfer files with um, and try a different USB port. A lot of times, some USB ports, um, even though it's the same exact port, it's just on another side or next to it. Sometimes you have better luck with that, and that will usually fix the issue. All right. Well, if you guys are confused with anything, because um, I'm pretty sure that that this will fix your issue. Um, if you don't understand the step, you let me know. And if by God it doesn't work. Uh, you know, leave down a comment down below, and I will take a look. You know, uh, if it doesn't work for you, um, just tell me your device name, the model. So let's say um, for my device is a Motorola G6. The model number is XT1925-6. You can get that from um, the information settings on the settings on your phone about device. You know. Okay, so um, if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe for um, another upcoming videos. Um, all of these videos that I have up now is a foundation to one of my main videos I'm going to make. Um, it's to flash custom recoveries. I'm going to be flashing DWRP, which then would allow me to... You need a custom recovery before you start flashing, you know, WAMs and you know program the files you know I'm gonna I want to do it I want to do Magist um, I want to look into doing the I did the Pokemon Go a long time ago I just didn't record it but I'm gonna go ahead and record it now I'm gonna get um, a Android program on the Windows that lets you see my Android phone um, or I would just record it straight from the Android phone um, it's just that um, I have to see maybe there's some things I need to do in the computer for us so I definitely want to get everything on footage, you know. Um, but for this, I couldn't do that because, um, you know, doing the doing the ABD stuff and things like that, um, I just wouldn't. Um, I mean, it probably would work. I might make an update video with, you know, once I know a lot more video editing, I'll make a video of maybe half the screen being on the phone screen. I know there's a program for that. Maybe it it would have worked out but um if if I had the phone, you know if I have a program that shows you the phone, you'd be seeing me hitting the cancel on the on the USB things and then you'd be like, hey, you know, it works for you, you just hit cancel. Well I, I just told you I hit cancel to give you know, give the result of unauthorized, you know, to act like, you know, it didn't work, like it didn't work for you, so you tried the next method. Uh, enough with me uh talking. I think I talked long enough. Anyway, thank you for watching my videos. I hope you stick around, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.